So here we are again, back out looking for goodies in the forest. Finding some telltale signs, bits and pieces. Oh, is that? There's a maker mark on there. Can't read it at all. Look at that later. Ooh, give us a nice bit of uh, transfer wear. Very Victorian. Uh, top of the bars, I think. Ah, oh, it's got holes in that. So. Oh. Looks like there's a piece of milk glass here. No, no, it's nowhere. I think it's got any age to it. No. What's that, man? Big piece of something, I don't know. A plate or something. Oh, big. No, broken bottle top. It's a bottle there. Oh, it's a big bit of that. Uh... Looks like an old, uh, is that jam or something? Something like that. Storage. Oh, what's that? Oh! What is it? Broken glass? Yeah, that's nice. I would have said a penny lick, but it's not wide enough. Yeah, that's definitely a yeah. glass. Yeah. Another piece of uh, Combi Victoria. What's that there? Blue rim plate. That's a bit of ridge pottery. Oh, that's quite pretty. What's that? Uh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Nice bit of blue pot. It's a bit gloomy in here. I don't think the camera's focusing all the time. It's it's like a piece of an egg cup or something. Yeah, yeah, make your right, an egg cup. Cool. It's like a sort of stoneware sort of storage or something like designed to look like a barrel yeah, with the hoops. Where's it? Well that would have been a nice piece but it's got, it's got the glaze whacked off. Have a nice piece of transfer wear with no pattern by the looks of it. Ink, blacking pot, what's left of it? It's a nice, it's a nice leafy pattern. Oh, oh, so much broken here. Large uh, marmalade or jam, something like that. What do you think? I don't know, it could be, it's very broken heavy. Cord. Yeah, it could be. Could just be any broken bottle, though. Yeah, Idris, London. Oh, that is so heavy, mind you, it is filled up with earth, uh, but that is thick glass. Oh, 
metal. Piece. No remnants here. Look. There's an ink. What? Top missing off it. Show you that's a bit bashed about. There's so much stuff here. It's all broken. Oh, trademark. Can't read that. Okay, it's a lighthouse there, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm curious to read that. Take like that. Uh, another little uh, green, that one. Pale green, I think. Busted. So is that. That was sick. Wouldn't have been much product in there. So is the walls. Look at that. Lows here, look. Same with a name. Let's have a big old pot. Born Denby. A bit of ink. A bit of black in pot, something like that. Ooh, there's a blue base of something. Maker's name. Stoke on Trent. From the potteries. Empire Works. Oh, I've heard of them. I, I don't know if that was Burslem. I can't remember. Loads of pottery uh, shards, bricks, bits of broken bot uh, bottle. Look at the size of that. Heavy. Have a piece of pottery, look, look at that, it's beautiful. Riley's. 98 London. Well, that's quite nice. Yeah. I think we've got some like it, but. Yeah. Right, that's it, we'll keep that. Mm -hmm. Nice bit of blue there. What's that? Iceberg brain. Not sure how old that is. Iceberg brain.
nice piece. Oh, what does this say? Henley, Johnson Brothers, England. Let's keep that. Have a look, see. Have you seen Carl? Yeah. What does that say? Warner Road, SE. Blimey, Warner Road. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's honey, Julie's best friend lived in uh, Warner Road. It's actually in Camberwell, and I live just round the corner. Uh, it's famous for its bus garage. Uh, so I presume, because like, look at the colour on that. That's beautiful. Oh, it's such a shame. There's so much history there, and a road that, that we both know. Yeah, most of the road now is taken up by a big bus garage, and on the other side is Peabody houses, really old. Uh, uh, social houses. Uh, probably, I'm not sure when the pea bodies were built, but definitely Victorian. So, so they were probably there when this company. That's amazing. I'm so tempted to keep it, and I think I will, just for the history and just for the uh, history between me and uh, Julie. Fascinating. So SE5, by the way, they didn't have the numbers back then. It was just SE or SW, but these days it's SE5. Huh. That's got a bit. Uh, that's a bit drunk, isn't it? Oh, that's been in some heat. Look at that. Wow. Of a chamber pot or a washing washing bowl. Hole coming over. Have a look. Nope. That's nice. My favourite sort of bottles. These sort of. Don't take up too much room. No, that's right, as Julie just said. They don't take up too much room. This is a shame, that's, that's a nice... Uh, yeah, I like that. That's a shame. That's a nice uh, milk glass, nice yeah. shape. Yeah. Yeah. Seen that mark before. Haven't quite worked it out yet. Made for G.I. Gent and Sons, London. Uh, I presume the manufacturer is JPR Limited. Nearly whole, not quite. It's a teacup, and you won't get, you won't get much tea in there. Julie just found a paste, whole. It's lovely glass. Is that glass? Yeah. Oh. Well, separated glass, always nice. Where is it, man? It's a letter opener, I think. Ooh, it will be. Yep. Keep that. What's it actually say on that broken uh, stonework? Oh. I think it's all whites. Oh yeah, ginger beer. All whites. Something style by the looks of it. Maybe ginger beer. Famous words. Shame it's broken. That looks like a whole salad cream. It is, screw top, unbroken. And what's this? Oh, some sort of uh, mixing bowl. Something like that. Maybe uh, looking up some pastry. 
or cake mix. Mmm, love a cake mix. Have a nice bit of brown white, curved, but I don't normally really keep curved, but I reckon broken in half, that'll end up fairly flat. See there? There's all the bits of pottery. Silver spoon. Silver spoon. I don't think there's much age to that. Big old amber jar. Oh, you don't see too many ambers. Screw top. Ah, an amber jar. Oh yeah. Ah, screw it's top. Fun. Oh look. Oh. What? Ooh. Look over there. What does that say? Ken. Kendall, Kendall Limited. That would have been a nice bottle. Yeah, three part, three part mould. Definitely. Well, there's a few bits in here, and right over there as well. Right, bit of a mother load here. Get back to you. Quite a few bits here, aren't they? Yeah, quite a few. I found, again, once again, nothing really whole, but things that would have been nice, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she didn't hear that. Beauty uh, said, like, she's found a, a few bits, but nothing really whole. I can see a few bits. No, this is just the remnants of uh, diggers. It's heavy. It's full of mud. Okay. Put one more. You reckon? Yeah, it says it on it. Oh, does it? Put W. Nice. Oh, what was that? Not to be taken. Yeah, would have been nice, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, that would have been massive. What does that say there? Oh, poisonous, not to be taken. Any broken pace pots. Yeah. Lamb of Guardians. Genuine Ironstone. Sounds like a vigilante group. you don't often see broken post pots so much but all broken Okie dokie, Judy's just found a whole milk jar. So we'll have a look at that in a jiffy. That looks, looks like a, 
you know, old gas, old gas fitting. Oh, but that or a starter handle, but it's not, it's hollow. Yeah. What you got? Milk jar. Oh, yeah, that milk jar. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. Oh, it's screw top. Yeah. But aren't they all? Well, most of them anyway. I think so. Always nice to, always nice to uh, collect though. You can see it's a bit swamp bill in here. And you never know what's in here. There's one thing, these areas might have been dug. And this is all part of the clay pits. And you can imagine all this lays up underneath. Preserving Co. London. Something sauce. Oh, I know that name. Uh, Epicure. Epicure. I think they're still going. Epicure. Glass. Uh, like a Parix, but not. She's right over there. Another remnants of a nice green no sauce bottle, similar. Oh, like there's signs here. It's got some age. I'll say late, late Victorian. Maybe up to Edwardian. I'm not sure when these these brickworks close. I suppose it's something I should find out. Really, been here many times. Have a look, John, but it's smashed. Do you know what that is? What? Oh, that's part of the thingy. Three, four pieces, four pieces? No, I think that's similar to what you used to have on your kitchen oh. sink to put your cloth and that in. I remember my mum having something like that. It's a bit big for a yeah. saucepan. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a drainer, isn't it? I think so. But it's a sink trough, I think. Yeah, I don't think it'd be much good for knives and forks because you couldn't stand them up. No, I think it was just for like putting the cloth in the sponge. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any way out here, you know. Not sure. Actually, tell a lie. Is there a path there? Oh, I know what I saw. I thought I saw a figure down. Uh, yeah, I did over here. I'm going over. Okay. Ah, is that Wedgwood? I don't know. Oh. Is that fish? No. Flowers. I don't think it's got any age to it, this. Oh, I'm not sure. It's got a high kick up on it. But it's, it's machine made. It's quite heavy glass. It's broken again, but it's got words on it, I think. Oh, look at that. It's a ginger, Newton Heath, Manchester. Oh, that's the shine. Newton Heath. I think I think that was the old name for Manchester United, wasn't it? Yeah. Newton Heath. I think it was a railway. Oh uh, yeah. Path edges. 
broken bobrel. It's the only dump I think we've ever been to where even the bobrels are broke. And and the um Yeah, and the paste. And the pastes. Yeah, and that's a lovely little oh one well, I think that's a one ounce. Yeah. One ounce. Look at it. Oh. Oh, this is broke. Oh. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, broke. At the on top? The top, yeah. Oh. Could be a. It was never a screw top because that's just the end there. So it could be cut. We keep that. That's a sort of lid, teapot lid, no, it hasn't got a hole in it, they normally have. Ooh, the skull over here. A skull? Yeah, a little bird or an animal. Oh. That looks like a bird, oh, quite a big bird. It's not a raptor, is it? Oh. Ah, a little pot. It's got a little chip out of it. Oh. A little pot, and it's got a little chip out of it. Yeah. Shame. That skull? I think it's a squirrel. I did think it was a bird, but it's got a couple of teeth, not a bill. Okay. <laughs> Tiny little milk glass. Still, still got its lid on it. I'll keep that. See if we can bring it up now. There's Judy up there. Oh, I don't think so. I should be able to get up. Yeah, what's Julie found here? Oh, is that the Barges Union, London? It's just St George's. I think. Oh, St George's, yeah. That was a workhouse, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, <laughs> climbed out of the woods. That is a big chunk. Look at that. Willow pattern. Straight as a die. You can use that. Little blue piece here. Wow. It's got the little holes in. Wow, has that survived? Well, it hasn't, but. So how has it survived as much as it has? Yeah. 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 Probably do something with that. You might be able to. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I do. I can't see if there's any more. I don't know where I picked it up from now, which actual bit. Yeah. I wonder if that's the lid. I mean, it's not, but it would have fitted. There's, there's, it'd take a lot to build that, but it's doable. I've got some lids. Do you just spray this button? Is that my repel? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Let's see if I can put it in my pocket and find it again. Well, we found a few things back on the beach. That's too bad. It's getting a bit cold. Found this tiny little heat damaged, what looks like a poison. That's got to come home, isn't it? <laughs> Probably won't clean up or anything, but still nice. I think that's another one there. Damaged in the old fire. I think burnt the rubbish.
down a, a spout. Oh, mate, well, keep that. You know why, don't you? You'll have a use for that. There's another one there as well. Oh, I mean, these chips on the end can easy, easily be solved. Keep that one, oops, keep that one too. First bit of pipe stem for the day. It's attached to a bit of bowl. Is it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. No maker's mark. But a bit of pipe stem, clay pipe stem. Looks like a little lemon, isn't it? You just uh, found this. She was uh, thinking it was spongeware, but she doesn't think it is, and nor do I. Looks like it's hand painted because every one of them patterns is different. And it's smug. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit smudged as well. Yeah, aspirin bottle. Yeah, screw top. Sorry. A water cotton uh, wool. There it is, something rattling around and breaking up. That's not bad. Oh, that's quite a nice one. Little baby. Shall I see it? A bit of pipes there, over here. Yeah. Pause. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> you just spotted this. Which I think is very nice. No lid, but then again, either ever. <laughs> We're now in the creek. With this little one, I won't have time to finish it in today's video, but uh, change of plan. <coughs> what we're going to do, actually, going to cut that off. As you can see, I've started it. Can't really do it in, indoors, it creates a bit of dust and it's pouring out with rain and very windy at the moment. So, I haven't been able to get outside and finish cutting that off, but just going to cut that off. Fill them holes, fill it, rub it down, and then decorate accordingly. And, and just gonna have it as, as like a tankard. I think that'll work. Uh, so, give you a future update on that on the next uh, video. Should be able, to, hopefully, should be able to get out next week. That's the little tool to do it with. You can see it's, it's uh, diamond coated and it's cutting really well, but it does make a bit of a mess. So I want to do that outside. Julia go mad if I make a lot of dust in here. Right, here we are again. Another round up, another week's gone. And uh, have a little chat about what we found. Not too much. I already spoke about the uh, teapot or coffee pot, so I uh, don't have to do that again. Uh, these spouts and, and lid and handle, we're starting to uh, collect a few of them just in case we need them for uh, uh, working on, you know, need a handle or a spout. I mean, 
these are not perfect but they're repairable so look we'll uh, keep them that's what you found yeah uh, that's a um i think it's a knife uh, i think it's a letter opener yeah um it would have been maybe silver plated yeah i say but it's all come off yeah i say there's an electro I think I think that's electro plate uh, mark there. Right, let me have a look. Yeah, it's a shame that the end broke off it to be I'll honest. Read it. And that's my thought. I, I was trying to straighten it out, but it's it's definitely copper. Yeah. And uh, probably uh, silver plated. Uh, that was a nice piece that Julie found. It's probably sponge wear. Yeah. Yeah. If not, it's definitely hand painted. Yeah, but. Uh, it's funny, when we were sort of in the field, as it were, them seas, that's the only way that I can describe them, look, look different, but now, once it's cleaned up, they don't. Uh, lots of, uh, looks like Victorian, mm. or maybe Edwardian, late Victorian, blue and white, transfer wear, look, that's a lovely bit of willow pattern that is so thick mm. probably the bottom of a platter mm. serving dish that's the first Limoges Limoges French uh, come from the uh, central sort of southern central part part of uh, France apparently the best hard porcelain in the world because the cr uh, clay contains uh, kaolin uh, quartz and what was it field spa and uh, it started off in 1768 because so I'm not sure about a crown on it because the French Revolution was 1789 onwards and uh, I don't think they would have put crowns on porcelain but I'm not sure so anybody knows what year that may be but uh, it's the first bit of as far as we know, French porcelain that we've ever found. Johnson uh, Brothers. Uh, Henley is just a pattern. Another crown look. That's where it, uh, that, uh, it was actually made in uh, Staffordshire up in, up in uh, Henley. There were four brothers. It was eventually bought out by Wedgwood, I think, in 1968. Something cooked like that. And uh, a few bottles. That's a shame. It's a lovely uh, colour, but it's uh, broken. But uh, I think I'm going to attempt to cut the... Uh, yeah, level it off or something. Yeah, yeah. Smooth it off. Somewhere about there. Bit of pipe stem. Yeah. Nothing yeah. on it though, is there? No. No maker's mark or anything no. like that. Looks like a small hammer, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> donk, donk, donk. And this chunky old bit. Yeah. That, that is a thick bit of pipe stem. I wouldn't know yeah. what Empire era pipe. of pipe that is. No. There's not enough to tell, but anyway. Yeah. I wonder if it, it may have been a, I mean, a part of one in Dublin pipes. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know what that would have been. Yeah. Would you say poison? Maybe. It doesn't say uh, poison. No. It's It's been in a fire, as you can see, and that's as clean as you can uh, get it. But it's sweet, and we're going to keep it. That's that. Camberwell one, Warner Road. I did fetch it back for a keeper's sake can maybe take the uh, top off it but it's, it's got a massive crack up there so just really cleaned it to uh, show you Warner Road uh, South East Camberwell that cork's got nothing to do with our, our uh, lark that come off uh, Julie's latest bottle of carver and <laughs> 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 uh, Workhouse, St George's uh, Union, London. A uh, little bit of uh, bump I've already put on the uh, video. And there's another one here. Another workhouse one. Where's that one? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Oh, oh no. Lambeth uh, Guardians. I didn't actually fetch the uh, broken pot home, but mm. uh, there's a bit on the video. Another bottle there. Mm. Quite, quite nice. Mm. Rough at the top. So yeah. Is that is that is that burst lid or? Not, I don't know. It may have got damaged. I'm not sure. I think yeah, it's good. Yeah. And a couple of my favourites. Oh yeah. This is a cream jar, like makeup um, face cream. So that's Arden. Uh, Elizabeth Arden. Yeah. Actually, her name was Elizabeth Brown. A uh, Brown. Her uh, father was Scottish. Her mother was Cornish, and she was born in Canada, and she became one of the richest women in the world. Uh, Elizabeth Arden, incredible story. Yeah, and her ponds, just your basic y ponds. Yeah, wouldn't have been much in it. No, wouldn't have lasted long. No, not the way I put cream on anyway. <laughs> and one of those. Yeah, yeah. No I never one's... know what goes into them, but uh, yeah. I do like them. Yeah, it could be. Anything, uh, couldn't it? From meat paste, fish paste, to hand cream, face cream, maybe, maybe even caviar. Yeah, that's what it always reminds me of, a yeah. caviar. Yeah, maybe. A tiny little, that's probably the pot manufacturer's yeah. mark. So, uh, all in all, not a great haul, but most of it, as we mentioned during the uh, video, was broken. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's documented, it was filmed, so uh, we just didn't really have to fetch it. Won't stop us from but going back, though. No, 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 no. That's a lovely pattern. I love that. Same as this. And this is quite quite nice as well. Is that willow? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure if they're two fish walking or a sort of character. Walking? Well, caricature. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know they got fish tails, but standing mm, up. Don't know, it's hard no. to tell. Yeah, yeah. And a pretty little bit of floral wood. So, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah. we'll, we've been out and about uh, since, so another uh, video already in the uh, pipeline. And uh, see you next uh, Sunday. But as for now, thank, yeah. thanks again. Yeah. And ta from the Kentish. Bye. Bye.